So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how you can remove apps when you go into settings and then you go into the app and then you try to remove it, but there's no uninstall button. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Stay tuned, it's time for streaming. So hi everybody and thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Today I'm on the ONN 4K Pro streaming device. If you're looking for a new device, check out my description down below. A couple of different links in there. Click on one of the links. No extra cost to you. Small commission does come to the channel and it does help out to bring you some more videos. One thing that I do recommend is that when you are streaming, always use a great VPN. You want to hide yourself from your internet provider you don't want them to see what you're doing the one i recommend and use is ip vanish vpn two dollars and 19 cents a month not bad at all you can connect to many devices as you want to while slow down your speed and again really great prices so check it out ip vanish vpn i got it in my description also down below just go ahead and click on it no extra cost for you clicking on it and I really do appreciate it and stream safe. So when you first set up your ONN device, you had a lot of different apps. If you didn't uncheck them, they all started downloading onto your device and it's a lot of bloatware. So today I'm gonna to show you how you could go ahead and remove those apps when it does not have an uninstall button. Very easy to do. I'm gonna walk you through it right now, but let me just show you what I mean first. Let's go over to the right. Let's go over to the gear is. Go ahead, click on the gear. Now let's come down to where it says apps. Once you get on apps, click on see all apps. Scroll on down. Show system apps. And let's just keep on scrolling down. Let's get down to where Google is. There's a lot of items in here by Google that you really don't need. Let's say Google Play Movies and TVs. As you can see on the right hand side, so it says open for stop disable there is no uninstall and if you're not using it why have it on here taking up room so this is how i'm going to show you what you need to do to go ahead and remove the app let's go ahead click on that home button on our remote so the one program you're going to need to go ahead and help you to remove the apps that you don't want is go up to the top where it says apps come on down click on search Open it up and you want to type in the following A D B T B. After you do that, click on the search button, give it a few seconds, go ahead and find itself. Here it is ADB TV. Click that enter button on your remote. If you like what you're seeing so far, go ahead and click on that like and subscribe button and ring that bell. This way you know when I go ahead and put up some more videos. Now let's go ahead, click open. Once we open it up, we got a couple of steps we need to go through before we could go ahead and take off the apps. Let's go now, click on step one. Once we get to step one, we have to go to where it says usage access. You find your ADB TV, which is the first one. Go ahead, click on it and allow the access. Click that back button, step two. Go ahead and click on step two. Step two is you wanted to enable developer settings. Now at the beginning, you always go ahead and you go down to where the build is and you become a developer. Once you do that, then you could go ahead and just skip by step two and come into step number three. Let's go ahead and go down to step number three. And if anything, in a couple of minutes, I'll show you how you can become a developer after we finish part of the video. So step three, enable ADB debugging. Go ahead and click on it. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down. USB debugging. Let's go ahead and put this on. Make sure you say, okay. This is going to help you to go ahead and delete the app. Go ahead now, click the back button. And let's click the home button and let's go and open up this app. Once we're back on our home screen, we go over to the right underneath your apps, ADB TV. Let's go ahead and give it a click. Now that we get the connect button, 
Let's go click on connect. Always check off, always allow, and then make sure you click off allow again. Go ahead, click on connect, give it a few seconds, let it load up. Here it is, ADB TV. Now what it does is shows you all the apps that you have onto your system. And this is what's gonna help you to go ahead and delete the ones you don't want. So for instance, at the beginning, I was showing you about Google movies and TV, okay? I don't use that at all. So I'm gonna scroll down, gonna be a ways down here, and you're just going through. Now, if you're not sure of what to uninstall, don't do it. This way you don't mess up your device. You don't have to factory reset it and start putting everything back on. So Google Play Movies and TV, I don't use that at all. I'm going to go ahead, highlight it, like the enter button on my remote. A pop-up window comes up now. It says open sentence, disable, uninstall, or stop. So there it is. Let's come on down to where it says uninstall, highlight it, like the enter button on your remote. It's uninstalling. And then as soon as it's done, it's gone. No more to be seen. So let's go ahead now, click on the home button. So once you click on the home button, you want to go back over to your apps, go over to ADB TV. Let's open it back up. Give it a few seconds to open up. And you could go ahead and double check by just scrolling down. And remember where we've seen it before, it was all the way down where all the other Google items were. Just go ahead, keep scrolling down. You want to make sure that it's gone. Right here, Google TV setup, keep going. And there is no more Google Play movies and TV. It's all gone. Now, of course, on the left hand side, you could go by date, presets, install, console, more. And there's a lot of options you can do. And of course, if you want to do the bloat, you could have to go ahead and get the pro version. So now that your Google Play movies and TV is gone, that's one bloatware that's out of the way. You just keep going through here through the list and you just delete what you want to delete. So that's how you go ahead and you give it the items that you cannot delete when there's no uninstall button. Now, like I said before, I was going to show you if you don't have developer options, what you need to do is go ahead, click on settings, come on down, and you want to go to system, go over to about, then come on over. Why don't you come on down to about? Scroll on down till you get to Android TV OS build. Once you get here, just click your remote several times. As you can see, it says no need, you're already the developer. If it's the first time you're doing it, you click it several times and it'll say, you are now a developer. Click that home button on our remote. So I hope you find this video very helpful and entertaining. I appreciate you watching. Let me know if you're going to go ahead and download the ADB TV. So this way you can uninstall those apps that does not have an uninstall button for you to click on. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.